So, four square kilometers of the property of Adwalaja remain to the east, where I'm standing, to the east of where I'm standing. In that direction, where you see houses on the hills and in the valley. Many of the families that were expelled and turned into refugees found out that part of their property remained accessible. The village was no longer accessible, but the outskirts of the community remained accessible. So many families moved back to their land and they started, like, instead of living in these camps, they started living in caves, trying to rebuild their home while looking upon their actual homes on the hills, right? Now, what was pretty weird and criminal is that you can look at your village, but you are not allowed to touch it. Because any Palestinian who's originally from that village, and he would dare to come down the valley and walk up to go home, that person would be murdered by the state of Israel. That person will be considered an infiltrate. Because an infiltrator is somebody that the state of Israel deems to come into Israel. So a Palestinian had to believe that my land and my house is in a different country, even though you can't see it. Even though you recall the journey of going downhill because of lack of safety. The same people, Israeli soldiers, that terrorized people through an Israeli military operation called Azioni, the same people kicked you out of your house, moved you away, and prevent and would kill you if you dare to come back. So the reason why people would stay on this side of the valley and not go home is not because they want, but because of fear of murder.